So, morning, everybody. Um, I am delighted to be joined in what will be my last in conversation uh, by Adam Caldwells. And we have purposefully decided to do this short video. Oh, and that reminds me, I just committed to doing a timer because both Adam and I can um, talk quite a lot. So, I'm, right, I'm setting a timer, Adam, for four minutes. Perfect. Um, so, uh, this is my last in conversation in NHS Grampian because, as many of you will already be aware, I am going on a secondment to uh, take up the post of Interim Chief Executive in NHS Tayside. And that's on the 11th of December, which is a week today. Um, and Adam is ably stepping up into the Interim Chief Exec post in Grampian. I'm sure Adam needs no introduction Um uh, as Adam, you've been in Grampian for how long? Oh, um, t twenty-eight years now, I think. So, uh, quite a while. Quite a while. Quite a while. I was yeah. I was blonde-haired when I started. So, <laughs> um, so yes. Yeah, so we've got um, a couple of minutes just to, I suppose, just have a bit of a a conversation, Adam, around um, exiting chief yeah. exec yeah. and incoming chief exec, um, and yeah, I suppose. I'll I'll take the I'll take exiting chief exec's prerogative and see what's on your mind coming into this post. Yeah, well, thanks, Caroline, and um, so so hello, everyone. I, I'm delighted to to be here today, and and the success of the videos Caroline's done have been huge. I know, so I'll I'll definitely carry those on and try and step into those shoes to keep everyone informed and up to date. But I, I guess that the, the the things that are right on my mind are, are things that will surprise no one. Um, there's something about how we perform as a system. Um, so whether that's in unscheduled or planned care and how we continue to do that as well as we possibly can. There's how we afford to do that. So the financial position is very, very, very tight across the whole country at the moment. So that's a that's a, a real thing for us all to pay attention to and see how we still deliver something we're already proud of while doing it in, in the right financial envelope. Uh, and of course, the other thing I'm really interested in is the future and how we you know create a truly sustainable system uh, that that we're all proud of and we all are really happy to work in so um nothing much to come you know just those, <laughs> those small things and and maybe Caroline what, what are you um you know what's the wisdom you'd pass on to on to me as as you leave oh wisdom that's a scary word um so I think I think there's a few things that have set Grampian up um, over the last few years to to progress really favourably and and absolutely it's got its challenges, as have many other health boards and you've set set them out. I think the fact that we've set a really ambitious strategy is great, and I know for a lot of people that might feel disconnected. But how do we make that a reality? And I honestly think if I was to say one thing, Adam. You mentioned the success of the Q and A's and and the mm -hmm. in conversation stuff, and I think it is about really listening to what matters and then trying to make sense of that um, all the time. One of the things that struck me most about the the Q and A's actually was just the fundamental things that were really important to people that we still are not landing consistently. So be that car parking, mm -hmm. be that yeah. the, the temperature of particular environments, be that how do we support colleagues to get access to nice tasting, nice yeah. temperature drinking water. All these things I think you can lose sight of unless you're constantly reminded of the impact it has on people every single day. And as I know you and I both agree, um, our colleagues that deliver care and support care services that that that's why we do what mm -hmm, we do um and and so i think that is the that is i think that is the timer so that's our four minutes but i think that is the most important thing is how do you keep listening and and trying to make sense of the the big strategic picture mm -hmm. that you will see mm -hmm. every day as a as a chief mm -hmm. executive and and in conversation with the board and with government and then how do you continually sense check and connect that with what matters most to colleagues that are 
um, delivering care or support services and, and patients and families that are experiencing them. Um, and, and also, you know, doing that through through just uh, you do this all the time, going around and chatting to people and understanding what what that looks like. So, yeah, I, I think that is that's the best bit of the job and it's the bit that gives you most or gave me most intelligence. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, keep going with that. But um, I'm only down the road and uh, I look forward to working with you and other chief execs in the north on a regional basis. And yeah, I'm really excited to see where Grampian goes. Um, it, it's been an astonishingly brilliant organisation to be part of. That's nine years I've been here and um, hadn't set foot in uh, Grampian really, let alone uh, NHS Grampian when I came here. So I didn't know anybody and now have friends and colleagues that will remain with me for, for the rest of my, my days. So um, yeah, it's an exceptional place with exceptional people. Yeah, and and maybe that just gives me an opportunity to bring bring the video to an end, and I'm sure everyone watching it will will join me in just extending, I guess, our huge thanks to you for uh, the, the tremendous commitment you've shown in lots lots of roles in that that nine year period, um, and you know the the huge work you did as the director of nursing uh, was when I first really got to know you. Uh, and and you know some of that trailblazing uh, work with getting us to be a magnet recognized organization which is absolutely paying dividends now isn't it so again a real sense of of you your leadership and inspiration and, and then you know the tremendous work you've you've done as the chief executive and how well that's been recognized nationally which is is you know why Tayside are, uh, are taking you there gain our, our huge loss so um hopefully everyone at, at this moment is is joining me to say thank you and and of course we wish you huge success in Tayside and and hope that's a, a really really good next chapter for you so thank you Caroline and thank you to everyone for watching today thanks Adam take care